For any distal extremity surgery in small animals, including a digit amputation, it can get very bloody. Uh, the distal extremity is very vascular, so it's often useful to apply a tourniquet. Here, we're just using some vet wrap, but in a larger animal, you might want to use a proper Esmark tourniquet. In this example, we are going to excise digit 4 at the metacarpophalangeal joint. A marking pen is used to delineate the site of excisions, uh, which is essentially mid interdigital webbing in an inverted V type configuration. However, the tissue margins are often dictated by the local pathology. Much of this dissection is also performed with electrocautery. Now we're going to transect the extensor tendon and the flexor tendon will also need to be sharply transected. The metacarpophalangeal joint is identified and then sharply dissected either with electrocautery or a scalpel blade as depicted here. So after the amputation has been performed we're going to see what the local skin looks like and the best way to oppose or close the incision. You can close the skin of each digit separately or suture the dorsal skin to each other and suture the palmar skin to each other. Uh, there are pros and cons to each. Um, here we're going to suture dorsal to dorsal and palmar to palmar, but first we're going to apply some interrupted sutures in the subcutaneous tissues to bring those digits a little bit closer together and close some dead space. There was one suture and now we're going to apply a second subcutaneous suture in a cruciate type manner right here. Um, with that subcutaneous tissue well opposed, we are now suturing here, a little bit difficult to see, but I am suturing the palmar skin. Um, these are regular skin sutures using some 3O nylon. Um, this is a more distal palmar interrupted suture and that completes the palmar apposition. Now we are going to the very most distal aspect of the interdigital webbing and suturing the webbing from the digit 5 to digit 3. So once this has been applied, you can see how those two digits will come in even further closer at position, which is um, nice for cosmesis. Now the dorsal sutures were applied right there in an interrupted fashion. Uh, make sure the skin's well opposed, there's no tension, and then this limb will subsequently need to be wrapped. So just on a couple of additional points here. You want to keep the tourniquet application, therefore the procedure time relatively short, ideally less than half an hour. The tourniquet should be, or can be, removed prior to closing in order to identify any hemorrhage and uh, achieve good hemostasis with electrocautery or vessel ligation. Condylectomy or removal of the remaining joint surface is not necessary typically. Um, we usually would perform it if there's any issues with skin closure.